Okay, so this next tutorial is about uh, putting a better artificial intelligence on the zombie. Um, what I have done is I have a new script, and this one here uh, in the update function here, it adds this line of code, and what it does is it checks the distance between the target, which we've already defined up here, which is the player essentially and if the uh, distance is less than 50 obviously you can go in and change that yourself um, then it starts to move towards you otherwise it can't see you and then we've got this move towards the player this part here within this if so I have saved this as AI2 and so you can download that again from the website if you choose so here it is here this is the script that is very slightly different to that one you can see by the, the bottom down here that when I click on that it looks slightly bigger so on here is the zombie with the AI script and if you click on this little cog down here and remove the component and then let's put that AI2 on top of that zombie there. Like so. so there it is there. I've already made a copy here and here so I've got like a, a whole lot of zombies there. I'm just going to show you how to do that. Duplicate that and then let's move that over here. So we've made this enchanted woods of zombies if you like. Okay so now let's play that and uh, when the game starts you can see the zombies in the bush over there and at the moment uh, when I go around and I collect my coins everything seems fine now obviously in your game once you start working on it you might have the zombies a little bit better hidden than that so you just be walking along perhaps following your line of trails and then Oh, look, that one's starting to move towards me. I'd better run away from that one. Oh, there's another one. Let's go this way. Oh, let's run over here. Oh, look, there's another zombie. And then all of a sudden it gets pretty hard to win. Okay, so that's a better zombie uh, artificial intelligence to include on your game.